YouTube, what's going on? Double D, Derek Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com. If you're new to the page, welcome. You've been here before, welcome back. I thank you for tuning in. I can't do what I do without you. So I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Click the bell so you're notified every single time I go live. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what time you guys want me to go live on Wednesday. I'm going to try to go live on Wednesdays and another day this week. Not sure. But drop it. Drop the comment down below and let me know what time is good for you. Let me know your favorite pick of the day. And let's, excuse me, get the comment section rolling. We're coming up with a nice free pick win yesterday on North Texas. Uh, plus the four and a half. They end up winning that game outright. We had a very successful day. If you're looking for a full recap, it's on DefeatTheBook.com. You scroll down that homepage. You'll see complete pick history, every pick that we've had with units attached, no no lies, no deception, all right there for you to see, good, the bad, and the ugly, um, will be on the website. If you're looking for Bryce, TikTok, and Twitter, is mainly where he operates, so make sure you check him out as well. Now, let's make sure we get you guys a free pick. I'm going to give you a lean as well. I am going to have a couple college basketball picks. I'm not going to give you that. I'll give you the NFL, which is what I'm sure you want to hear about anyway, as we are now getting into the nitty gritty of the NFL season. We have the Bills. And the Bengals here, the the game that we were all looking to see a couple weeks ago that I had a free pick on um, that ended up obviously the tragic um, injury with, with Hamlin in this one. And we're, we're in Buffalo, which I honestly feel like it wasn't fair. I feel like they should have found another way or played this game at a neutral site um, for these two teams because the, the Bengals really didn't have an opportunity to play for home field advantage. They had the, the, the winner that this game was going to have home field advantage and they gave it to Buffalo. But um, I think there's a lot of edge and a lot of... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? A lot, a lot going on with the Bengals that that makes them have a little bit of added motivation to this game. Obviously, it being a divisional matchup, it's going to be a great game, and, and this is going to be two great teams that we've seen. But we always hear about the Bills. I feel like we rarely hear about the Bengals. I feel like they're the team that's left out, although they made it all the way to the Super Bowl last year. I feel like a lot of teams, a lot of people, a lot of analysts are counting them out in this one. And a lot of people are saying it's Josh Allen's time. And it may be. He's been a little bit reckless with the ball here recently. I think they went out to get Von Miller uh, for the pass rush. And it's been increasing, increasingly um, better and better, even though he went out. Um, they were much better, obviously, with him than they are without him. Um, they got they were able to get some pressure on the young Skylar Thompson last week. We saw they could barely even get the plays in on time. There were just a lot of things, I think, that went their way for both teams here, both the Bills and the Bengals. The Bengals had to face a very stingy Ravens defense since they've added Roquan, Roquan Smith, um, and they were fortunate to get that fumble and run it back, but good teams find ways to win, whether it be the Bills or the Bengals, and I think this matchup is going to be an incredible matchup. I think there's too much emphasis being put on the linemen being out, as we've seen Joe Burrow almost the entire entirety of his career played with a poor offensive line and still be able to produce at a very high level. I expect to see Samaj P. Ryan. I expect to see um, Joe Mixon with some chipping off the edge here, some quick releases, some quick screens, and getting the ball out hot. Um, and we know that the matchup with Tredavious White and Jamar Chase is going to be a big one as well. These are just two teams where it's it's going to be electric and it's going to be fireworks. And I'm just not sure if it's the Bills time just yet. I'm going to go with the Bengals. The line's all the way up to six now. I'm going to take those six points. I think they have the advantage of being the dog. Obviously not the advantage on the road. We know Bills Mafia is going to be a madhouse there. Let's see if, if Allen can handle the pressure here in a tight game. We've seen Joey B come out successfully. Let's see if they can get it and take this thing to another level so they can get to the matchup with the Chiefs here. I think this is going to be a great game, maybe the best, well, might not even be the best game on the card. Obviously, in the, the 49ers and a Dallas game as well, I'm leaning towards the San Francisco. The reason I'm not making it official is it's three and a half. I really want that under the key number of three. I think this would be a close game, but it's hard for me to put trust in Dallas um, when you have a kicker who missed all those extra points and kicks last week, and you're going to come in to San Francisco, and I know it's a rookie quarterback, but he's played extremely well. This would be two great teams, a great San Francisco defense, a great San Francisco offense, and I'm not sure that I trust Dak Prescott that much to take the four points either. He played a successful game, a great game last week, and coming into this one, I'm just, I, I need to see it again. You know, I need to see it back to back. He's really struggled putting back to back excellent performances together. So I lean San Francisco minus a three and a half is the official lean. But the official free pick that we have on this video will be the Cincinnati Bengals plus the six. And I'm sure a lot of people will be on the same thing, but it is what it is. I'm going to take the six points. Cincinnati Bengals official free pick of the day, guys. If you like it, take it. If you don't, you know what to do, guys. It's Derek Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com. Best of luck whether you decide to tailor fade. But either way, hope you guys have an incredible Sunday. Good luck.